Welcome back to the final MSL match of the of the evening. We have West Coast Cobras against the Northern Hawks. What a match we have tonight to end our Saturday evening. For the West Coast Cobras, we have Luke Ross, number nine. Luke Christie, number 24. Jake Pizzuto, number four. James Toff, number 33. Tom Robles, the goalkeeper, number three. Diego Florenka back from injury. Number six, Lachlan Ryan. 22, Liam Cummings, 21. Marco Florenka, number eight. Gregor Zerkis, number 12. And Jordan Giacoppo, number 19. And just as the Northern Hawks lineup is coming through, we've got Nathan Jovius, number 56, Lukman Sayed, number 7, Michael DeFilippis, number 9, Devin Rindell, number 10, Nishan Alagorda, number 6. And just as the rest are coming through, we'll look at the starting lineups of either side. Lachlan Ryan, Luke Ross, Jake Pizzuto and Diego Florenka. He's been out for some time, but it's good to see him back in the green and black. And Tom Robertson net. As for the Northern Hawks, we have Nishan Alagoda, Lukman Saeed, Devin Rindell and Michael DeFilippis. And of course, Nathan Jovius in goal with Dan Fermato out with injury. Also on the bench for... The Northern Hawks, we have Riley Gordon, number 22, Chris Rocky, number 11, Ty Tate, number 3. A bit light on today, the Northern Hawks, obviously without one of their star players, Ches Houston. I'm sure he's watching in from the live stream. If you are, Ches, put in your score, to, your score prediction for tonight. But obviously he's a big out and the Cobras have come fully full strength, only missing the likes of... Nicholas Canass that I can think of off the top of my head. Ryan. To Ross. Out to Pizzuto. To Cummings. Out to Pizzuto. Back to Ryan. To Ross. Exceptional rotation here, but Pizzuto just got onto that ball a little bit. Not like him at all. Will we see an upset like the West Coast Eagles beating the Dockers tonight in the AFL or will we see the favourites win? Wait and see. Alagolda out to Rindell. Ryan presses. De Philippis looks for Alagolda but Alagolda just can't find the end of that end of that ball. Just a bit too heavy for him. Pizzuto. Out to Ross. Obviously these two sides, a lot of history between them. The, the top two sides in the Superliga in WA for quite some times. Quite some time. Alternating winning titles and some pulsating matchups between the two of them. Cummings from Ross. Just ran out of space there by Liam Cummings. To Philippus. Out to Rindell. Pizzuto presses up. And they just couldn't keep possession. There the Northern Hawks. Cummings resets to Ross. Out to Pizzuto. Inside to Ross. Little flick down the line. Pizzuto keeps possession to Ross who... Goes for a spectacular attempt, but never looked like troubling. Govius in goal. Saeed down the line. Gets past, gets past Ross and looked to cut back, but now the West Coast Cobras are through, but Nish does exceptionally well to track back and cut that pass through the middle. Alagoda to Rindell. 
to Philippus. Back to Rindell. Said. Rindell to Alagoda. Moving the ball very well, but just dispossessed there. And here goes Ross. He goes for the shot, but Nathan Jovius with an exceptional save. But Ross is still going. And Nathan Jovius, he must have had a solid warm-up. He's on point so far. Ryan with the shot, but Pizzuto's blocked it. On the line, he didn't know it was going to come in there. A bit unfortunate, but... The West Coast Cobras are knocking. Pizzuto out to Ross, into Ryan. Out to Cummings. Pizzuto, exceptional one-two with Ryan, but... Just couldn't get that follow-up pass through to him. As Rocky has checked in for De Philippus. Rocky had a solid game last, last time out against the Cumbio Cumbre side. He just couldn't find the back of the net. He'll want to he'd want to solve that tonight and get himself on the score sheet. We know how good of a target he is, one of the best in WA as Alagoda to Rocky resets to Saeed. Out to Rindell to Alagoda. Good 4 0 rotation here by the Northern Hawks trying to find that space in behind. Rocky back rolls to Rindell, brings inside. Rindell follows up. Oh, and that was a chance that goes begging. Robles with the initial save. Rindell, one twos with Saeed and just couldn't find the back of the net there, but he's definitely the danger man in these early, these early stages for the Northern Hawks. The bench of the Northern Hawks says it's coming for Rindell. It is, that was some sort of play there, but now intercepted and... Rindell looks on early and he wins himself a side kick. He knows how much a win tonight would mean as they've dropped down to fifth place with the Footscarves winning last night. Footscarves are on 37 points. The Northern Hawks are on 35 as Ty Tate checks in. For Alagoda. Rindell down to Rocky. Rocky's threatening. Ross with some good footwork to find Ryan. Back to Ross. Cuts it back, but maybe should have taken that on his left foot. As Coach John Goodlich says, they've got to be better with their press. Try and win that ball high and make more opportunities. Rindell, very composed. Try to find Saeed, but Saeed had made a inside run initially He's looking for that flick ball Florenka to Ryan Ross back to Florenka restarts play Ross out to Jake Pizzuto into Florenka down the right line to Ryan and Florenka we know how good he is with both feet. Look for that left-footed finish. Flashes across goal there. And Pizzuto was coming in, but just a bit... Just a bit late to connect with that through ball. As Rindell and Tate check out for De Philippus and Gordon. Lukman Saeed try to find that chip ball down to Rocky, but he was dispossessed, but he still has the ball here. Referee says it's a green ball. Play on. Ross out to Pizzuto. Good rotation. Back to Ross. Florenka back to Pizzuto. Down the line to... Toth, who's checked in for his first minutes of the match. 
Gordon with a high intensity. Bringing that high intensity with a good press. Ross tried to flick it down to Florenka, but just couldn't connect with him. Gordon out to Saeed, down to Rocky. He's got that left foot finish and Robles with a good save. Gordon's coming in, but Florenka got to the ball first and and I think Gordon got contact with Florenka's leg there. Robles coordinating his attack as Ross poaches to Philip as well. Philippus demanding more of his teammates. To Philippus, Ross with a sliding challenge. To Philippus might have just hurt his shin in that challenge there by Ross. Did get the ball, but was a bit dangerous. If he didn't get the ball, it's to Philippus trying to connect with Gordon and this. Chris Rocky, he can't believe he's missed it. We'll see if we got that on the replay, we did. De Philippus came in, bad first touch by James Toth and Rocky thought he had taken the lead 1-0 but just comes across the woodwork. He can't believe how unlucky he is. He said it was in though but it really wasn't. As we have a timeout here by the West Coast Cobras to calm things down, we'll be back with you just after this break. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Let's welcome back and we restart play here with the West Coast Cobras as we see, as we see Christy check back back on as long with Cummings, Florenka and Toth stay on the field. Cummings inside, plays Christy. Nine minutes left to go on this first half. What a half we've seen, but you gotta say the Hawks have been probably the better of the two as Florenka fouls him. We'll watch if we saw, saw that on the replay. Yeah, just a little little shirt pull on, on Gordon. That delayed the counter-attack and he gets himself a yellow card with that. What's the right decision? As Rindell out to Gordon. Back to De Philippus. Gordon takes a hit, but that one goes astray. Had to say, Northern Hawks have been unlucky in this first half. You had Rindell with that. Excellent piece of footwork and, and skill with De Philippus that just hit ricocheted off the side post. And then Chris Rocky again with the same. That right-handed post seems to be a, a bad luck omen for them, but they are knocking. It was a good call by Coach John Goodlich to maybe take that time out for the West Coast Cobras, take some of that momentum that the Northern Hawks had gained. And, but here comes Luke Christie. Good footwork, takes it down the line, resets, but... Jovius collects. Rindell getting pressed by Toth. Lookman try to flick it down to De Philippus, but wasn't on the same wavelength. Cummings 
Out to Christy. Into Florenka. Out to Toff. Takes on Rindell down the line. Keeps it in play, but no, he doesn't. Just over the line. You can tell from here. As Gordon checks out for Alagoda. Saeed. Beautiful pass there from De Philippus down to Alagoda, but Alagoda just put a little bit too much there for Rindell to get on the end of it. Cummings just sloppy in possession there, and the ball had just it was either rolling or just rolled off the line. But he does well there to work hard defensively. Robles just clears the lines, gets it out of danger. Travius collects to De Philippus. Seven minutes remaining in this first half. It's nil all, but it's like a chess match. Each team slowly progressing as Azurkis checks in for his first minutes, along with Luke Ross checking back on. De Philippus. Brilliant footwork there by De Philippus, but he did the hard work, but just had to play it side to Saeed. Was unfortunate there, but <laughs> Alagoda with the press there, almost caught out Robles. Dispossessed Cummings, and it just flashed past that left-hand post. I don't even think Alagoda knew what he was doing. Azurkis out to Cummings. Christie on the ball. He knows he likes to take on players 1v1 as Rindell goes to ground, but gets straight back up. Azurkis goes for the toe poke across goal, but wins himself. A side ball to go with it. Restarting play as we see injured goalkeeper Dan Fumato go put the timeout sheet in. As Ross plays down to Cummings. Ross out to Azurkis. He's got time and space, but takes too long. Resets to Ross. Out to Christie. Cummings. Goes for the switch to Luke Christie. Hawks just happy to let them have possession in this upper half. There's no real threat to goal yet. Christie out to Ross. Got to give credit to this Hawks defense. They're very composed at the moment. Not letting anything through, but as I say that, they've just let a corner. We'll see what the West Coast Cobras can conjure up. Here is Cummings look to go across to Azurkis, but now we have a 3v3 chance, but Ross clears. Saeed, brilliant footwork, but Ross does well to come across and cover. As we'll have a timeout here by the Northern Hawks. We'll be back with you just after this break. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact Us here to restart play after the timeout. We've been asking for the five metres by Ross, but Rocky plays it inside to Rindell. He takes a chance, but 
Just couldn't find the right contact and well cleared there by Ross and Pizzuto. Also the initial save there by Robles. To Philippus. Out to Rocky. The pass just didn't have enough on it. Goes astray, but they do win back possession. Out to Rocky. Rocky keeps possession well, but he still has it. Rocky goes for the shot. Still sometime, somehow has it. To Philippus squares the ball. Ross clears to Christie. Azurkis goes for the... Azurkis goes to take him down the line, but to Philippus did exceptionally well to use that composure and to hit it back into Azurkis and win himself a side ball. Christie down to Azurkis, goes for the shot. You want to? Rocky holding the ball at target. Oh, he's surrounded by Cobras there. He's in the snake pit. Great save by Robles. Balls with Luke. Rockets Ross. And then um, Jake Prezzuto's pushed it through to Christie again, who started the playoff, bringing it down the left-hand flank. But it's just, just mistimed by um, Luke Christie there. It's a side ball for Hawks. Tate's bringing it in. Rindell. Rocky, they're playing a 4-0 formation here. And Luke Ross is pushing Tyler Tate. But Rindell steadied the flow and got the ball out to De Philippus. Some nice working here by the Hawks. And it's pushed on to Luke Rocky's, Rocky's left. Oh, and it's well done by Presudo. Robles seemed to have had it covered, but it's um, now a corner ball for the Hawks. Dev, oh, I mean Rindell, not Dev. <laughs> Rindell was through there to cover the attack by Luke Christie. Ross out to Ryan. Comes back inside to Christie. Brings it inside to Pizzuto. Just moving possession in. Ross goes for a long range effort, but over the bar. Hawks have now switched it up to 3 1 with Rocky going deep to goal. They're obviously very fluid in transitioning between 4 0 and 3 1 as Pizzuto presses well, but. And here we go. Jovius. Down to Gordon. Good first touch to take it away from Christie. Resets with Aligoda. Switches to to Philippus. Gordon to Aligoda. Hit Rocky. Rocky lays it back. Hearing a press from the bench of the West Coast Cobras as a long ball goes down to the rock. Flicks it long, but I think it will be a West Coast Cobras ball. Sorry, it is a Northern Hawks ball. Just from, got it wrong. Aligoda with a shot that goes wayward. Robles will collect possession. Obviously, the Northern Hawks are without Betim Zeba as well, who got a red card in the last contest. Last match up against the... Rockingham Cumbio Cumbre boys as we see Diego Florenka check back on this is good movement and there's Ross with the shot that just goes leftwards almost caught out the boys in black but they're warming up into this game the Cobras after the Hawks getting the first two oppo clear cut opportunities Last time these two played, it was a one. Uh, it was a one-all draw. It was a one-all draw with a last-minute equaliser by Jake Pizzuto in the dying seconds. So there's always a chess match-like 
contest between these two. Ross, back to Florenka, back to Ross, flicks it down to Ryan, on his head. Gordon does well, tracking back. Fourteen seconds remaining. As Northern Hawks have won themselves a side kick. This will be a good opportunity to take front on the scoreboard between the dying seconds and put a hammer blow between hammer blow for the West Coast Cobras, but they don't get a shot off. Nine seconds remaining. To Philippus, flicks down. Gordon try to flick it long, and that's all she wrote for the first half. Nil all. It's been a great matchup so far, and we'll see you back for all the second half action just up. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. Back to the second half of the West Coast Cobras versus the Northern Hawks. So far, we are locked together at a nil-all draw, but clear-cut chances coming for Devin Rindell and Chris Rocky, who both hit the post in later into that second half. Uh, first half, we had Luke Ross that just put, just put the ball left of the post. Yep, Alagolda, down to De Philippus. De Philippus just couldn't get his footwork right there and get a shot on goal as Ryan collects. Gordon does well. Good footwork there by De Philippus, Alagoda. And here comes Ryan, dispossesses Alagoda. Makes the run and he does, he does go for that back post pass, but Toth just was a few metres behind. To Gordon. Boys are back in defence. Alagoda. Out to Saeed. To Rindell. Bounce passes with Saeed. Back to Rindell. Alagoda. Long to Rindell. Brings it inside, but... Right, Lockie Ryan just got his body in the way. Hawks are pushing for this win. It would put them back into the top four by a singular point and leave everything to play next weekend. As he goes for the shot. Doesn't count as no one had hit it before the sidekick. And the keeper goes quick and 
Rana went to flick it back, but it was just a bit of an awkward situation. And Jovius, the goalkeeper, just committed. He committed to the play. It was a brave, brave commitment by the keeper. So now he he's coming off. Jovius is okay and just had to do a concussion check. It looked like he did hit his head in that in that battle, but all is okay. As we continue play here with Toff, brings it inside. Still going Toff, takes it around the keeper, but Toff did well to get past two and three attackers. It's Allegoid is through, but Robles does well and he clears his lines into, into Alagoda. Wins himself the ball as Alagoda presses Ross. It is a free kick. Ross to Pizzuto. Down to Cummings. Played into Saeed. And out for a Cobra's ball as Pizzuto in possession. Out to Florenka. Back to Pizzuto. The ball from Florenka was sensational. And Pizzuto just was stretching and just couldn't find the right contact to put it in the back of the net. To Felipus. Chip ball there from Malagoda to Saeed. He handled it extremely well to Philippus. As Ross appeals for the his side ball and he gets it. Knocked back into a Hawks player as he chips it down the line for Cummings. Cummings backs, comes back inside, goes for the square pass. Pizzuto went to hit it top top corner, but De has got his body in the way and it went out for a corner ball. Pizzuto down to Florenka. Deflected wide. Pizzuto try to hit it into Cummings. Robles did very well to come off his line there because Developers was through. Didn't hit the roof and it's play on as Rindendel, Rindendel, sorry, I meant Rindell comes down and he wasn't far away there. Saeed from the corner, out to, to Philippus, back to Saeed, keeps it in play. No, he doesn't, just out. As Pizzuto checks out for Luke Christie. What a night of futsal we've had so far. So many exhilarating contests. And this isn't one that's going to disappoint. Nil all, but the quality of futsal is sensational. The quality of players on the quarter, the best in the league. As Ty Tate does well to just dummy that over the line and wins himself a goal kick. Jovius goes long for the run of De Philippus. De Philippus just ran out of space and it will be a West Coast Cobras sidekick. Florenka brings it up to halfway, out to Ross, across to Christie. Christie back to Ross, back to Christie. Try to get past Lookman, but unsuccessful as Robles had come out and 
Just clears his lines. Robles has been good so far this game. Obviously the clean sheet. Made the saves that he's had to and he's come off his line to clear the loose balls in behind. Cummings. And to Florenka. Back to Christie. We hear Coach John Kutic say work the ball. Move the Northern Hawks defense as ball gets down to Ryan and Riley Gordon was just a bit too a bit too eager with that push in the back and the West Coast Cobras have their West Coast Cobras have a free kick here. Ryan out to Cummings, goes for the shot. And Liam Cummings from the set piece. Great set piece play there by the West Coast Cobras and they go 1-0 up as we look here. Lachlan Ryan squared it. Christie had made the block and it gave Liam Cummings some time and space to have his time and get his footing right and have the composure to Slotted into the bottom left-hand corner. Not much Jovius could do about that. West Coast Cobras go 1-0 up. Alagoda out to Gordon. Couldn't find his footing. Good press. Good pressure there by Florenka. Saeed tries to hit Gordon, but Florenka sweeps up the crumbs. Does well, keeps the ball, resets to Cummings. Out to Christie, comes inside, gets past Alagoda. To Florenka, wide to Ryan, chips the ball down to the line to Florenka. Who just ran out of space and Northern Hawks are defending exceptionally well and just saw that one go out of play. Only undone so far by that set piece play. It wasn't necessary by Gordon to concede that set piece, but it's those fine margins in games as tight as this that will give, make someone victorious and give someone a defeat. As we restart play here, Gordon to Tate. To Alagoda. Back to Saeed. Florenka complaining about the press by Cummings, but he checks out now for Pizzuto. Cummings chips down to Ryan. Uses his body well. Looks to turn. Rindell comes in for the double team, but Rindell does come. Thought Rindell was going to come out on top there, but unfortunate in doing so in a Lagoda. Engaged, engaged the press. Cummings. Long to Ryan. Good first touch. Alagoda did foul him there, and it looks like Lachlan Ryan is in a serious amount of pain as we see that on the replay. Yeah, he came across and just swept at his ankle. Lachlan Ryan looks okay, just a bit of foot to the ankle from Alagoda. Off to Ryan, squares it to Pesudo, just a bit too high for him as Ryan almost, as we were mentioning earlier in the night, he almost did an AFL mark on Rindell, but. Rindell wins himself the ball as we see the Northern Hawks coming out for fifth man. They are two points behind Footscarf, so a loss tonight would, wouldn't be detrimental, but it would put them not in the driving seat coming into next weekend's fixtures until we reach finals. There's now Gordon's the fifth man. Rindell back to Saeed, out to Alagoda. 
down to Rocky. This is good ball movement from the Hawks. Alagoda did well to get it back to Rocky after mistouching. Alagoda gets past one, gets past two. He cuts inside, but I think that was tough. That clears off the line. Ross had gone for the shot, but Saeed was tracking back. Saeed out to Rindell. Out to Rocky, back to Rindell. Back to Saeed. Into Gordon, down to Alagoda. Alagoda did win himself a corner kick. See what the Hawks can conjure up here. Gordon goes for the first time short. Down the line, Saeed, Rindell, back to Saeed. Across to the park to Rocky. Rocky to Rindell. This is good ball movement from the Hawks. It's quick, it's all one and two touch. As I said, that commentator's close and Saeed let that one go astray as Gordon runs back in time and Jovius gets back in net for the Northern Hawks. Northern Hawks, seven and a half minutes left to play. They're now setting up their fifth man. Alagoda. Back to Rindell. To Rocky. You want to get Rocky's left foot on the end of one of these opportunities. As the Florenka goes for the shot, but that wasn't a million miles away. As now, as now coach God John Goodlich calls the full press. Ross plays Florenka as now Toff goes wide, but Florenka keeps the ball, plays it out to Pizzuto. Florenka try to get that, try to find the runner Pizzuto, but just couldn't. Rindell back to Jovius. Jovius under pressure, but he found Saeed, but Toff did very well. Ross flicks it out to Florenka. Alagoda. He's got that rat-like press, but it was exceptional from Alagoda. Maybe not a foul, but referees have called it. And they've also called they've also called a rolling foul against the Northern Hawks, and they're now on four fouls. Florenka skips past two, keeps the ball, and goes for the shot, but. To be fair, he actually did run out of real estate on that on that left wing. No one's listening to the... As here goes Gordon. Ran into the back of Luke Ross. And we'll see what the referee calls here. I'm not actually sure what the call was. Referee says it's it's no foul, but they're saying they stopped play because Luke Ross hit his head on the ground. They go to re resets to save. Back to Rindell, plays wide to Gordon. First touch to Rocky, comes across, but Robles does well. Ross gave away possession, Rocky with the shot. Robles had that one covered. As it went over the bar, just under five minutes left to play. What a game we've had so far. Cummings out to Florenka. Florenka, Florenka does well to Keep possession. Out to Pizzuto. He's got black men all around him. Back to Ross. Out wide to Pizzuto. Florenka, Pizzuto, across to Ross. Hawks are now full pressing. Alagoda disappointed with himself as Florenka goes with the shot as he skipped past two. Oh 
Alagona didn't get the ball there, but no foul called. They stop play because of the injury. Florenka on the ball. Hawks restart play here with Saeed. Back to Alagoda. Back to Saeed. Setting, found Rindell. Rindell still in possession, does well, gets it out to Saeed. Back to Alagoda. Wide to Gordon. Back to Alagoda. Just gets away the ball, but Florenka with the sliding effort. Couldn't find the back of the net. There's now The Cobra's pressed, but here goes Rocky. Well defended there by Ross. In from behind. Out to Alagoda. Gordon with the block. To Philippus. Out to Rindell. Cuts inside. Goes for the shot. Well defended by Ross. Hawks still in possession. Alagoda. Then knocking. Gets past Ross. Goes for the cutback, but Robles had his near post covered. Robles has been... Exceptional all game, not letting him, not letting the clean sheet get away from him. Gordon goes for the shot. Ross again. Alagoda, Rindell back to Alagoda goes for the shot. Deflected by bodies go flying everywhere. Not sure what happened, but we'll go for a Hawks ball as Code was cleared into the. Into the roof. De Philippus brings it inside. Sideways to Alagoda. Back to Gordon. Edge of the D. Pizzuto did well. And Cobras are defending with quite. As here goes Florenka with an opportunity. <laughs> Clean tackle called by. Clean tackle called by the referees, but. I'm not sure myself if he got the ball there, but timeout is called by the West Coast Cobras. We'll be back just after this break. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to... Restart play here with Cummings. Back to Ross. Rindell dispossessed Chrissy, still in possession. Christy not letting himself get beaten. Exceptional challenge there. Minute 18 left as the Hawks set up the fifth man. Plays across to De Filippis. Back to Rocky. To Alagoda. Pizzuto did well there defensively. 
Alagoda takes it down the line, goes for the hit. Pizzuto deflected well, and it is a corner. Alagoda collects just under a minute remaining. Hawks at this point would, would be happy with anything but a loss. As Rocky checks out. Oh no, sorry. That was Gordon. No foul called there. They're both holding each other. As Rocky back to Rindell. Comes inside to Alagoda. As here they come now, the Hawks. To Philippus. Goes for the shot. Well saved there by Robles. He's been superb all night. Alagoda. Alagoda to Rindell. Goes for the low shot, but deflected into Pizzuto. And it will win himself back. Another corner. Gordon. Back to Rindell. Out to Gordon. Back to Rindell. Out to De Philippus. Comes across. Pizzuto has time. They're just going to keep the ball as Ross... Then goes for the shot, but Gordon does well to come across and see it out for a side kick. Ross flicks down the line to Cummings. No foul called, but it will be a West Coast Cobras corner. Referees saying play on, no fouls are called. Ross is getting heated as the timeout is now called for the Northern Hawks. 11 seconds remaining. Ross not happy. Ross not happy. Thinks he's been getting fouled. See you just after this break. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. Long. This is huge. Robles does well. We'll see what's called here. Bit of confusion here. I think they might have stopped play to fix the goal. No foul called. It's going to be a drop ball. For the West Coast Cobras. Out to Ross. He just chips it down the line. Watches the seconds tick down. Gordon, last opportunity. And that's the full-time whistle. What a match we saw tonight. 1-0. It was a... A chess match could have gone either way. Hawks had their opportunities, but it is the West Coast Cobras that come out in front, and that will cement them in second place with the Coburn Wolves losing last week. It'll be all to play for next weekend as the Northern Hawks are two points now behind the foot scarves in the race for top four. Thank you, and we'll catch you next weekend.